Apologies, Melasso. This is the sheriff's office. It has come to our attention that uh, you smell illegally nice. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to lock you in our jail until you smell bad. Whew. God damn, I'm snassy. Yeehaw! Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the clique. You do indeed smell amazing. I'm sorry I won't lock you into smelling bad jail because you smell so good. My god, I am flabbergasted. Today, we're going to look at r slash hole up. And it's been a while since I just sat back and scrolled through some cursed, cursed memes. And oh my god, I'm looking forward to it. And I do hope you do too. Enjoy. Mwah. Do you know what's tragic? Do, do you want to know us? Uh, the people are getting unsubscribed from my channel. Yeah, that's right. I had so many comments on my last videos telling me, What? YouTube unsubscribed me. This is Skindle. So please double check that you are not unsubscribed now. Don't let the conspiracy of random unsubscriptions win. We can fight the system together. We are strong alone. We are weak. Po -po. God, I'm a good inspirational speaker. Dean Norris. A good lesson ought to cheat on your spouse, especially if you die first. Whore. <laughs> oh my god. They usually say not to air your problems publicly, but I mean, <laughs> there is a time and a place, and that place is the cemetery. I may be small, but I'm fierce. Sharp claws, strong limbs, and deadly bite. I mean, unstoppable mug in my sheep. Hug? It's the hug of death while he sinks your claws through your ass and up into your heart. Oh god, I want that for for a, a friend. Yeah, for a friend. Minecraft proves that abolishing child labor was a mistake. The children yearn for the mines. <laughs> Furthermore, the increase in transgender Oh my god. <laughs> You heard that right? Horrible labor loss from a uh, hundred years ago was just preparing kids for the horrors that is Minecraft. Pretty sure I just received the best fake ID on my bartending career. A girl handed me my missing license from two years ago. <sighs> Dear God. It would be even better if that was a fake ID to begin with as well. <laughs> A fake exception, that would be me! Oh my god, Courtney, you're like so fake. <laughs> the first clinical trial of male birth gel is underway. Her. Get the bed and get these guts. Uh. Him. Hold on, baby, I gotta put on my sunblock on first. <laughs> it only uh, prevents you from having male babies. We haven't expanded the contraceptive to, to I uh, other categories yet. <laughs> it's a bit of an issue. <laughs> Ah, beta version quirks. Legend. The 11 year old's response to nude teacher naughty proposition. Ok, a dicke. When a 22 year old karate teacher in Orlando sent an 11 year old boy in her class nude photos and said, I want to do the naughties with you, he responded casually, Okay, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a seven. Man, he, he peaked already. In like a good way, I guess, yeah. Yeah, in a good way. Why is there a bumblebee in my in my studio? Bumblebee? Sure. You're very cute. You better watch it, or I'll put you on a leash and have you as a pet. Out, out, cease. There you go. Freedom awaits. I'm never going outside. Spider-Man was really selling pics of himself to newspapers to survive. He started OnlyFans before it was even a concept. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's like the the 18 plus Spider-Man movie, the one without pants. It was like, hey, a new news team. I have this really nice photo of Spider-Man where he's only wearing his mask and nothing else. It's like, oh, but can't you find one without the mask? Like, no, no, the mask stays on. Everything else? Optional. <gasps> Look what I found in my mother's room! Hey, man, I, <laughs> I wouldn't watch that if I were you. Oh my god, that's like trauma in a nice little neat package. Yum. Oh, here's a video, let's see. Predator and Prey walking home after a whole day of acting for Natural Geographic. <laughs> You see? They're just in 9 to 5, just like we are. They're just putting on a show. Stuff like this makes you feel really conspiratorial, though. Are trees real? Are animals just putting on a show for us? Nobody knows. Kim Kardashian calls Kanye West in tears after son saw her naughty tape pop up on a video game. Her son's saint saw an ad about unreleased photos from her naughty tape with her ex Ray J while he was playing on his iPad. The last thing I want as a mom is my past to be brought up 20 years later, she said. What's even worse is when he found out grandma was the one pushing for its release. <laughs> At least it wasn't the grandma in the tape. So that's, you know, you take the small victories in this godforsaken world. Lickable TV screen that you can taste. Developed in Japan. 
Uh, Naughty Hub about to be lit. I was gonna say, this sounds like one of those 4D cinemas they were advertising in the day, when you had these smell scrape cards. Really nasty stuff. It's like, oh, they're in a locker room in a movie sh scrape. The sweat one. <laughs> oh, they're in the sewer. Don't scrape that one. <laughs> so now we can have 5D movies. We have both the smell cards to 3D and the flavor of various scenes when the main character gets like <laughs> mud splattered in their face now lick the screen class so you can immerse yourself where do you see yourself in 10 years me the museum of failure <laughs> Please, why do you call me out like this? I had a good life trajectory. I became an engineer, I did math, I was a good boy, and now I read memes and people accuse me of being a furry. That's my life. That's that's my life trajectory. Dear God. So anyway, back to the memes. Who updated Michael Jackson's pronouns on Instagram? Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. It's so bad. But I love it because I'm a bad boy. Hey girl, I heard you like bad boys. Well... I'm bad at everything. <laughs> if you ask a co-worker, how are you? And they say, well, I'm here. That loosely translates to, I need you to push me off the roof. We can make it look like an accident. If I die, I'm, I'm finally free. If I live, we'll sue this place and split the money. Please help. Oh, God. Well, it's a solid workplace. Ooh. This would be cool for a disco. Okay, no. No, that's not what I was thinking. I was having a pure, innocent, PG Christian thought for once, and you're ruining it! God! Oh, no trespassing! We're tired of hiding the bodies. Another aspect is they can also put up a pole with, with the heads of the people that have trespassed. You know, that's what they used to do in the olden days. <laughs> you know, you know they say, things were better before, let's take some wisdom from the ancients. There you go. Poll your neighbors. Not in that way, get... Mind out of gutter, we're talking about death here, not about... Anyway. Spanx! Arthur Spanx, his wife, Catherine! <laughs> oh my god! Man, comedy peaked in 1860. Good morning. Write something special about Africa. In Africa, height depends on how tall you are. Africans with beards are just Africans without beards with beards. Why are people liking those comments? As a native of South Africa, what is your number one favorite thing about South Africa? In Africa, it doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, or bisexual. At the end of the day, it's night. The moron tweeting nonsense and getting my post. No idea why people keep liking that post. Blocked. Uh, people not from Africa, how do you see the average African? By traveling to Africa. <laughs> These are not the kind of questions you post to Twitter. I still remember that politician that posted like, The school is for academic uh, glory, not furry, f little, little freaking uh, fairy tale fantasies. Hashtag stop furries. And they just got ratioed to, to garbage with the comment section full of yif. It was absolutely amazing. I love that. When garbage politicians take on furries and lose dramatically, it must be the best thing I've seen all week. R slash jokes. I got my wife Wendy's name tattooed on my pee, pee as a wedding gift. When not in the mood for naughties, it only reads, why? On our honeymoon, we went to a nude beach. The Jamaican bartender had why also tattooed on his private parts. So I asked him, excuse me, sir, I couldn't help but notice your tattoo. Is your wife's name also Wendy by chance? He replies, no man, my tattoo says, welcome to Jamaica, <laughs> have a nice day. Oh yeah, you know when you have to get a roller skater for your third leg so it doesn't scrape against the floor? Yes, indeed, I don't have that issue. Ah, just vibing in our Tesla. Wait. No, no, there's... There is no... There is no one there, no. It's just the cemetery. It's just... I, this feels like some follow-up to a Slender game or something, where the ghost is invisible, and you can only see them on your GPS or something. That is such a good premise for a horror game. Oh my god, I wonder if it exists already. Probably. The reason Batman doesn't cover his whole face is because he needs the police to know he's white. Oh my god. Okay, well that's a bit of a twist I didn't expect today, but here we are. Would you slap your best friend for one million? Girls, no, I love my bestie. Would you slap your best friends for no reason? Boys. Hmm. <laughs> I love the internet. Olives. Olive oil. Extra virgin. Lightly fricked. The lightly fricked? I want the hard fricked olive oil. That's the one with the most aroma to it. Yes. Check out my new channel, Cooking with Click, where we only use hard fricked olive oil. Coming soon.
My wife just said bukkake in front of the kids, to my shock. She then admitted that she didn't know what it meant and thought it meant some, like, BS or something fake. And she said it in the meetings. <laughs> I made her Google it and now she's having a panic attack. <laughs> oh no, please. Why would you say no, it's God. Oh, you just randomly splurted the meetings. If we have a very relaxed atmosphere at our company, bukkake. Damn, girl, are you a kid's movie for my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in many ways I didn't originally realize. <laughs> Erica, your friends on Facebook. Can you cash up me for $20 of food, please? I mean, uh, you crazy. I don't even frick with you. Haha. Mm hmm, okay, okay. All right, let's see. Just 20. Okay. Just hit accept when you get it. You requested $20, <laughs> okay? This is getting interesting. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, and they did it. They actually accepted the request. Well, that's beautiful. So they did have more than $20 themselves. How sneaky. Made her cash up me instead. Come on, do what the frick. Give me my money back. I need my freaking money back. I'm calling my bank. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> Missed audio call! <laughs> oh, jeez. Th this is such a weird trend online, I swear to God, man. I feel like such an oldie when I look at this and I feel like, Oh, damn kids and their shenanigans. Am I that old? Maybe, but I'm embracing it. Nah. Sorry, black boys, only white men can handle this. On behalf of black men everywhere, we wholeheartedly support your decision. On behalf of all white people, we sincerely admire your graciousness. However, we will be declining your generous offer and adamantly urge the Mexican to take one for the team. <laughs> on behalf of the Mexicans, there's some jobs we won't even do. Maybe the Asians can take this one. On behalf of the Asian culture, we also kindly decline the generous act, as we are practicing our Arif mythic playing piano and ninja flying arts. Maybe the Muslims have the answer you seek? On behalf of all Muslims, we're gonna have to decline the offer for the simple fact we don't eat pork. <laughs> Oh my god. We solved racism. Racism is no more. All you need is some overly sassy, low-key racist posts online. A common enemy unites more than a common goal. That's even scarily true. Even in bad ways, it's scary. <laughs> That's just people. <laughs> god, we suck. Facebook's poke era was insane. When I was younger, my uncle used to poke me all the time. Uh. Yeah, that was like the form of flirting when I was in high school. You poked someone you liked on Facebook and hoped that they poked you back. I remember I had a poke war with someone, and I think we both liked each other, I'm not sure. That went on for like two years, and nothing ever happened. <laughs> we only poked for two years, that was it. God, I was a chad back then. If uh, video games are to blame for violence, then maybe Monopoly is the reason why boomers are so good at bankrupting shite. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this. It was this big story about, you know, the Monopoly man wearing a mono monocle. I think, I don't think he actually wears a monocle, but you mentally glue a monocle on top of him every time you think about him. It's so weird. It's like, it's perfectly fitting there. It's like a spiritual monocle. It's wild. Dude keeps calling me bro and chuckling. So I overpriced his tattoo and I'm gonna make it hurt more than any he's ever had. <sighs> Taking the top layer of skin off with eraser, wiping with alcohol, needle out and riding the tube, dry paper towel. Dude is in for a world of hurts. <laughs> Bernard A. Harris Jr. The best part was getting your picture taken while deadlifting a 3,000 pound barbell. There is no gravity, so it's super easy to lift, but you still look really strong. Terry W. Verts. There is no golf there. Charles Duke. Imagine your body as a potato. Now imagine no gravity acting on that potato. And bingo. That's what space feels like. Barry Wilmore. You never know true beauty until you see the Earth in space, or true terror until you hear someone knocking on the space station door from outside. You look through the porthole and see an astronaut, but all your crew is inside and accounted for. You used to come to ask who it is, and he says it's Ramirez returning from a repair mission. But Ramirez is sitting right next to you on the command module, and he's just as confused as you are. When you tell the guy this over the radio, he starts banging on the door louder and harder, begging you to let him in, saying he's the real Ramirez. Meanwhile, the Ramirez inside with you is pleading to keep the airlock shut. It really puts life on Earth into perspective. <laughs> you know, the quirky everyday stuff. Love it. His hands look like this, so mine can look like this. It's like the ultimate couple. I think 
the Easter Bunny is just Satan in a bunny fursuit. No comment will change my mind. Try to change my mind. What do you think the Easter Bunny is deep down inside? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested. This is for science. How to be good at talking. Polite greeting. Name. Relevant personal link. Manage expectations. Hello, my name is Ingino Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> yes. My nephew, Mad AF. This is our third time at the barbershop today. Indeed, I heard there is free birthday cake at the barbershop. That was a butt joke. Oh, are we about to do some classic female erotic bathing? Oh, let's see now. Yes, better better pose properly. I'm like, yes, it's all supposed to be gracious, gentle splashing. <gasps> Oh. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <laughs> no! Oh, my God! There... <laughs> that is so bad! How is it a tree? Oh, no. <laughs> if you think your Monday is going bad, just think positive. It can always get worse. Possibly the greatest book review ever. Five stars. Great toddler book. Bought it for my two-year-old niece. Didn't read the description, but it's fine because she can't read. Once I get my shite together, it's over for you, bitches. <laughs> What's for lunch? Let me take a wild freaking guess. This would be a nightmare if the child has just started reading. It's gonna learn only the bad words and nothing else. The valuable words in life. Oh. Can you imagine if we had that bad fantasy for all the other animals? Horse is just grass eater. <laughs> wow. Proud dad tweet. Taught my three-year-old about investing this morning. He could either have half a gummy prior to nursery, or he could leave it there and have two in the afternoon. <gasps> he chose the latter. So proud. <sighs> I ate them both once he left, though, because hashtag volatility. <laughs> Take that, Timmy. <sighs> it's the harshness of the world. It's only downhill from here. When mom told you to be careful in life, but you don't listen to her. Male splooshy bank nurse gets prego after not washing her <laughs> hands properly. <laughs> this feels like <laughs> COVID, but leveled up, you know? The new mutation. Better wash your hands so you might get spontaneously prego. Mm-hmm. Yes. My dad officially became a doctor today. I'm gonna go show my dad and tell him what the other people's parents are doing. That's so true. Timmy across the road, he's so good in school and he does soccer practice in the evening. Why aren't you doing this, Jeremy? You lazy little poo. Can you imagine doing that to your parents? My friend's dad is really good at golf. Why are you so bad at golf, dad? Gravestones at about 50 years. F. I like that. That's sweet. My god, our memes are gonna age so well. Hot guy mannerisms. Dude, that's hot as fuck. And they probably don't even realize it's hot. When they uh -huh. run their fingers through their hair and... Oh, yes. Seduce me harder, please. Mm, yes. That's a bit of a bold move. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit of a hairy situation. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'd had enough puns for one video, maybe. Melatrica, nothing else mattress. <laughs> is this supposed to be misspelled? Am I whooshing something or is this just so bad? Doctor, and how is your head? Her, I haven't gotten any complaints so far. Oh, I see. It's it's like it's like a naughty joke. Ha <laughs> ha, we like those on this channel. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, that was a good laugh. If you're cold, they are cold. Oh. Bring them inside and warm them up. Mm, hashtag PETA. <laughs> bring them inside. And then bring them inside of you. Not even in a naughty way, we're just munching here. Complaint letter to management. I am writing to you to make a formal complaint about the door knocker affixed to the door in apartment blurb. As you know, the school bus waits across the street every morning at 8.30am. And children are exposed to the knocker's genitalia. <laughs> Oh yeah, editor, we might have a censor. That is, <laughs> it's very big balls on the man knocking device. Also, there are many Mormon young men on mission who live in this complex who do not need to be exposed to such filth. I have attached a picture from when the individual was not home to show you the clear violation. Please evict this person immediately. <laughs> it's not even about politely asking them to take it down or you know anything like that. It's just no, evict them immediately. It's, it's balls. Oh, it's a ball sing instead of appalling. God, that was a good joke. When people go underwater in movies, I like to hold my breath to see if I would have survived in that situation. I almost died in Finding Nemo. Animal control. What the hell were you thinking? Me. Releasing birds at a wedding is romantic. Animal control. You released ostriches! 
That's such a good- Oh my god! Can we ride them to a wedding? This is my dream wedding. Oh my god. If my wedding doesn't have a bunch of ostriches, I am gonna sue someone. Uber facts. In the UK, you can get a signed birthday card from the Queen on your 100th birthday. And when you turn 13, you get a text from Prince Andrew. <laughs> Oi, bruv. That's mighty inappropriate. Olivia, you're so... Oh my god, that's a dog? Holy, it looks like a proper hellhound. Look how buff that thing is. Fetch me their soul. That has more muscles than I do. What the hell? Oh my god, I want this puppy. That'd be so nice. This is the ultimate scary dog privilege. You could walk through a freaking war zone with this and nobody would touch you. R slash news. Human penises are shrinking because of pollution born scientists. Save the environment! Just do it! Quickly! Oh my god! I can't afford to lose any more! Why did it take my brain so long to figure out what's going on in this pic? Oh my god, what's wrong with this pupper? Holy sh- What? Wait. Oh wait, you spin it around. Oh my god. The thing you think is the one really weird eye at first is like the nose. That's horrifying. Peppa Pig, three stars. The infamous World War II death factory comes to life. Step inside and experience the horror for yourself. Woo! Fun for the whole family. If you die tonight, heaven or hell, tell them the cow sent you. The cows send their regards! <laughs> Is this supposed to be a PETA ad? It's like, if you eat too much meat, you gotta die. <laughs> God, I wanna feel like a badass finding and fighting in the name of the cows. Appreciate the little you have. Some people eat blankets because they have no food. Mmm, look at that. It's a very yummy blanket, rich on fiber. Oh, that's pretty nice. Is this what you do in the candy factory? Oh, that's beautiful. Wait, you're at the gym. This can't be sanitary. <laughs> and that's certainly not sanitary. Dear God. Oh, you absolute sinners. This is a wiener retriever. Just like your mom. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, oh. You didn't expect this video to be so savage when you came here today, did you? No, well, you have been flabbergasted. It's intended to be Fuji Mountain, but I think it's going to be a new meme. Oh, dear God. That, that, did you have nobody in the board meeting who just like, Hey, Steve, that looks like a pee-pee. You know, nobody, no, <laughs> nobody reacted to this. I put my hand in a toaster to scientifically test whether I'm a piece of bread. I stood in the bread aisle to see if people will buy me to scientifically test whether I'm bread. This is gorgeous. This is what I call quality content. It's educational. It's exploratory. The title re leaves room for imagination and curiosity. Quality content. Thank you. Spider-Man, not my problem. All right, let's see. Oh no! No! Spooderman, look! There are children playing in the road! Oh no! Please! Spider-Man 4. Solving world overpopulation. <laughs> Yay. If you're being fat phobic and on a weight loss journey, I'm not gonna debate with you on what your BS self loving motivations are. <laughs> you're fat phobic, you're perpetuating diet culture, you're literally engaging in fat bodies' oppression. You can frick off and get a block. I think the best conclusion is just like, don't try to control people so much. People want to live their lives differently, and that's perfectly okay. It's important to, you know, promote proper stuff and don't bully people, etc. But I don't know, this is kind of like. <laughs> Overly judging someone for just living their life like they want to because it's different from what you want. I don't know. It's just <laughs> hypocritical, I think. <laughs> Five stars. My son died here. Response from the owner. Thank you for your review. Woo! Bro pulled up to his whole crib missing. Ha! <gasps> ah! Well, it would have been nice to keep the tree. Oh! Man, he's really going nuts about this. <laughs> Yeah, he looks a little... stumped. <laughs> I can keep going. At least he's not a dog. There would have been a lot of bark -ing. I'm not sure if that was a joke, but it's, it counts. Man, the housing market is really a cutting-edge industry. <laughs> yeah, I feel this de-housing market is rooted in some real problematic standards. Oh! People today are so spoiled. What do they think? That houses grow on trees? <laughs> oh my god. I am professionally funny. Did you know that? Well, no, now you know. Need books? No worries. Donate plasma. Earn $250 in your first five donations. Me? Canada for tuition. United States. Then pay with your blood. <laughs> oh my god. 
Huh, my niece turned three today. Yay. She asked for a Lion King cake, but specifically the moment where Mufasa dies. Because everyone will be too sad to eat the cake and it will be all for me. Oh my god, what a mastermind. Look at this. That's gonna be a very nice birthday vibe. All the kids are gonna be in a circle around it crying. And then the birthday kid is just gonna stuff their face. I wanna see this clip. That would be amazing. Alright, here we go. We got a little snowman and uh Why are you specifically shooting the... Minecraft? What's the... What's the message here, Minecraft? We already know that the kids yearn for the mines. It can't get much worse, Minecraft! Bro, y'all ever think about how fricked up those fake mating calls are used in hunting? Imagine a girl DMing you, Ah, oh, come frick me! And you pull up and get shot by a dude in a camo jacket! Imagine you chilling with your moose homies and you hear women moose moaning saying, Who's gonna frick this moose? And you'd be like, shit, guess that's me. And your boys be like, ayo fam, that's a bit sus, bitches don't be doing that. And you're like, nah, you just jealous. And then you just get capped on your way to deliver that moose pee pee. <laughs> it's the same thing with bird songs. Imagine if we could translate bird singing. It would be horrible. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Springtime is here. Wah, wah, come frick, Netflix and chill. Nice bird pee pee here. It's horrible. Animals are not pure and beautiful. They're they're just like us. Found my clone selling nuts in Istanbul. We couldn't communicate, but the whole market was cry laughing. That is such a beautiful moment. <laughs> A picture says more than a thousand words. Oh my god, could you- if you spoke the same language, it's kind of a barrier. But you could switch lives and see if nobody notices. I mean, the linguistics part's a bit tricky, but if it wasn't for that, that'd be so much fun. Literally nobody. Man named nobody ran for mayor, claiming nobody tells the truth. <laughs> nobody tells the truth, nobody fixed the economy, nobody cares about the poor. Elect nobody. <laughs> that is- that is very, very, very nice, very sassy, I like that. Add the word sexually at the end of a sentence. Let's see how weird this gets. How are you? <laughs> sexually. I'm sorry to hear about your father passing away. Is there something I could do? Sexually. Is that comforting? I don't know. It depends on the context. Like, in the right context, it can be very, very flattering and, and comforting. In most contexts, not so much. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Sexually. Hey, Steve, can you send me that quarterly report? Sexually. Oh my god, I feel so fulfilled at this office. Sexually. People above the age of 40. What's better in your 40s than in your 20s? Sleeping with someone 15 years younger than- <laughs> Oh my- Jeez, I have- I freaking hope so. Can give your dog an egg, and they know to be gentle with it. Oh, that's such There's a good no pupper! Work. Oh. Come on, Bobby. I always knew okay, dogs so were ducks I'm deep down inside. And supposedly, oh, wait. Okay, supposedly careful, careful. Knows, it's eager to nurture the egg. Let's okay. Go. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. Oh, uh, <laughs> almost. <gasps> the bumblebee is back. Now, come on, bumblebee. I am recording. Please, we we can we can go on a date later. Yes. Shoo. Out to the window. No, not that window. Oh God. Okay, fine. Okay. No, now you went to the other window. Oh my god, what I'm doing for Mother Nature. There we go. Out you go, freedom. Whoa. R slash ask reddit. You must battle everyone you had the naughties with all at once. How screwed are you? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, seems about right. Well, laddies, lasses, and lassos, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed recording it. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, your beautiful bean. Because you deserve it. Take care. Mwah.